Well, hello again sports fans. This is a bit of an unusual one today. I've been looking for a lost model with my Quantum Venture quadcopter. It's fitted with a DJI NASA M Light flight controller and I'd been having trouble with it over the last couple of months with sudden flyaways and crashes. However, these problems all seem to be resolved after I loaded some hacked V2 firmware onto it. So this is my Z84 wing which has gone missing again. The flight controller on this model is also giving me grief and it failed to return home from its last flight with these being the last couple of fuzzy frames I got from the video. The last clear GPS coordinates come from about 10 seconds before those uh, shots and I've been out for a ground search around that area and haven't been able to spot it so I'm sending up the venture for a look around from above. So I'm parked up on the side of the road as close as I can get to the spot and I take it up to about 60 metres uh, while I try and work out exactly where I need to go. So that line of trees in the middle of the screen is running roughly north south and that's the line the model was following when it uh, seems to have gone in. I was flying it from about a kilometre and a half away towards that mountain and was trying to bring it home. So at this point I'm pretty happy with the way the bench is flying, it seems fairly stable. I have a Mobius camera underneath pointing straight down to catch a high definition video and that's what I'll be hoping to spot the plane on when I get back. So the intention is to fly along a line from the last known position back towards home and this seems to be the tree that appears on the uh, video frames. So everything seems to be going fine. I've just speeded it up because nothing exciting is happening. Uh, that is up until this point when it suddenly does something that I'd never seen it do before. Initially I thought I must have hit uh, power lines or a tree branch but at 60 metres it's just, there's just nothing there to hit. So I'm expecting it to head straight for the deck and I'm quite surprised when it actually levels itself out. I notice that I've lost a fair bit of altitude so I increase the throttle to see if I can get it back and uh, she seems to be responding uh, quite correctly. So I climb back up to about 50 metres and just hover there while I wait and see if it's going to do anything else strange and give my heart rate a chance to slow down again. I'll have a bit of a look around to see if there's something in the area that's uh, affected me but there's just nothing at that altitude. So I decide to carry on the search as far as the next ridge which as far as I think the Z84 could have got. Then I turn around and start heading back along roughly the same line I was flying out on. I switched to the downward facing Mabies view just to make sure I was clear of all the obstacles and that certainly seems to be the case, the trees are well below me. So once I'm clear of the trees I decide I'll just fly around the general area picking up uh, as much video as I can for later analysis. She seems to be perfectly stable with no hint of that uh, sudden roll that it did on the way out to the south. I'm even confident enough to fly over to another nearby stand of trees and uh, capture some video just in case my uh, GPS coordinates are a bit off. So with the battery starting to get down a bit I decide to head back to the uh, car. She's still flying nice and smoothly, there don't seem to be any more instability problems. There's a bit of traffic on the road though so I decide to approach fairly cautiously and do a low hover just to make sure it's stable before I bring it over the fence and land. I do notice that it's not as stable in the hover as I like. I'm having to hold a little bit of back pitch in to get it to uh, stay in one place so 
I decide to fly back out over the paddock a little bit and just test it. So at this point the sticks are in neutral and there's still quite a fair bit of forward motion in GPS mode. I actually uh, try switching it into uh, attitude mode just to see if that makes any difference. And it speeds up a bit more. I switch it back to GPS mode and it slows down but it certainly doesn't stop. I'm having to hold that uh, backward pitch to get it to stay in one place. So I notice that the battery is starting to get a bit low and decide to make a landing approach parallel to the road just in case I do have any trouble controlling the drift. She certainly doesn't want to stop and I take it pretty slowly messing around with the uh, pitch control and uh, in the end just put it down as quickly as I can unfortunately on a bit of a slope and she tips over but no damage done to anything. So it's a complete mystery why it did those rolls in the middle of what was an otherwise normal flight. I've had a bit of a hunt round with Google and there seem to be plenty of reports of NASA light flight controllers tipping the uh, quadcopter over on takeoff but nothing that's uh, really similar to what I just experienced. So if anybody's got any idea, uh, please leave a comment, it would be nice to know.